Okay, so recently I told you they were back here mowing the grove. They've been doing a lot more than mowing the grove, and it's really interesting. Number one, right here, this path. It's been maybe 10 years now since this path was open that I could actually walk on it because it was just absolutely, totally overgrown. So we're walking up the path now and it shows how much more work they're doing than just cutting the grove. For that approximately 10 year period, because of all the overgrowth, there was actually no access to the Queen's cottages. Well, now all that is gone. All that's been cut around, cut away from the cottages. Here's the first Queen's cottage. This cottage, when they were here on Kauai filming South Pacific, this is the cottage that Mitzi Gator one of the main stars of South Pacific stayed in. And she brought so many clothes with her that this little cottage couldn't hold them all. So Grace built a small addition to this cottage, a temporary one, to hold all Mitzi's clothes. So I'm just gonna walk down this path. I'm gonna show you all the Queen's cottages now have been opened wide up. So it's apparent what they're doing is allowing access to all these cottages. Uh, the foundations of the cottages were never knocked down, just the cottages themselves. The foundations are still here. And with access, they can rebuild the cottages. There were eight of these cottages, four structures. Each cottage was two bungalows. So this is the third one. And then I'm coming up to the last one here. And this last bungalow is whenever Bob Denver, who was Gilligan, would stay at Coco Palms, he would stay in this last cottage right here. So this side of it was the one that Bob Denver always stayed in. And then you see to the right of all the uh, Queen's cottages, which is what I just showed you, was the honeymoon suite, the museum, and the chapel. So that's what's been going on here the last week, making access to all these buildings. Then here's the uh, overflow ditch down here for water would come up and fill up the lagoon and then there's the lagoon right over here there is a, a bridge here where you could go across this ditch to get to the lagoon. This is one more view of the, the Queen's Cottages from the north, pointing to the south. And the path that has now been totally cleared out. 
So I just came over that bridge, but I'm going to show you something else that's here. Okay, we're going to squeeze our way through these weeds here. But if you watch Blue Hawaii, now we have access to where the movie ended. And it's right there, this dock. And that's where the Blue Hawaii wedding boat docked, right there. So it's on that dock that the movie Blue Hawaii ended on. Right here at this portion of the lagoon. Okay. Here's one of the trees where they make the wine. You see that bottle hanging up there. And uh, the liquids drip into that bottle. And then they make wine out of that. Okay. So there you go. The Blue Hawaii Dock. Those of you who stayed at Coco Palms long ago, you remember the Oracle Tower that was in front of the lobby. And then some years later, they moved the Oracle Tower back near to the Queen's Hall. And here's what's left of it. Uh, during demolition, it fell over, but here's the pieces of it. All tied together, just like they would build the Oracle Towers back in the day. Some small pieces of it are laying um, Trying to get through here, there's more of it tied together. Some small pieces of the Oracle Tower are laying in the lagoon. Going through all the weeds, still finding more pieces of the Oracle Tower. So, okay. Thought I'd show you all this. Some of the old rope used in the Oracle Tower. This is one of the steel bases that held up the Oracle Tower. This is how they would tie the whole thing together. And it stood here for decades. Big part of the Coco Palms history. Okay, aloha. And this is another angle of what's left of the old Oracle Tower, of course, now fallen over. All oh, this is really fascinating to me. Is what's left of one of the old bridges from the Queen's Hall across to the Lee Building. This is not the King's Bridge. This is another bridge. That is a black crown night heron. This particular one I've never seen here before. 
as well as back here in the woods. He flew out from in front of me. I thought I'd show him to you. Wonder if that's Elvis's mate, Priscilla. Don't know.